Following on from the epic season finale of the first season of the show, which saw Adam being taken out by Eugene by mistake where he was aiming for Carlo, the first episode of the second season picked up several months after the night in question, with Michael now in jail in a damaged mental state and there being flashbacks to witnessing what happened in retaliation from the Baxters. So with that, I thought I'd recap, break down, and explain all that there was to take away from this first episode. So let's get into it. Here is Your Honor Season 2 Episode 1 Ending Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The first part of this episode showed us Michael Desiato in jail following on from the night where he saw that his son Adam was killed. I feel we were led to wonder how he ended up there, but we saw that it was because he gave a full confession to everything that essentially happened in Season 1. This contained information on Michael covering up the hit and run, him fixing the court case where Carla was released from prison even though he killed Kofi, and he also spilled information on all of the people that he was working closely with and had been over the course of the first season. So we saw the majority of this episode focused on Michael's struggle whilst in jail. As we embarked into the final part of the episode, we'd seen that Michael had been struggling with the will to live and had no fight left within him. Hence why we saw him enter the rodeo where he made peace with the fact that he could well be killed if he was just sitting there with a bull running towards him. However, we saw that he was spared and ended up with minor injuries. It almost acted as a sign that he needed to carry on. As the bull ran towards him, he had a vision of Adam, so he was comfortable with the fact that in that moment it could have been his last. Olivia Delmont wanted to speak with Michael in private, and as we saw from earlier on in the episode, she managed to secure Michael's release from prison, despite the fact that he was guilty. However, it's clear to see that Olivia has a wider plan that's at play. She essentially wants to rid the streets of organizations similar to what Baxter runs, and her way to do that is to essentially get as much information on the Baxters as possible. With Jimmy Baxter not knowing that Michael snitched on everything when he was taken into custody, she wants him to be led to believe that he's in safe hands, when in reality, judging by the phone that Michael had in his possession after leaving the jail, Olivia has work that she wants Michael to do, with her also having the recording which stated that Charlie was involved in the initial cover-up of the hit and run, it seems as though Michael doesn't want to be the person that's single-handedly responsible for the demise of his career, so it seems as though he's going to work with Olivia for that reason. I think Charlie's demise is something that will also play a part in this season of the show, seeing as though there's already a large focus on that part. Outside of Michael's story, we saw that Fia was trying to get in contact with Michael for the months that he was in jail. We saw that she'd written multiple letters to him, but none of them were ever received or opened. It looked as though they were just sent back to the sender. Judging by the state that Michael was in, it was no surprise. Fia wanted to know if Adam truly loved her, which Michael believed that he did if he did say that he was in love with her, due to the fact that he was a terrible liar. We saw Fia have a conversation with her father, which was a poignant moment in the episode. She stated how she felt different to the rest of the family, how her brother and her mother have been involved in being the decider of people's fates, and that she didn't quite relate to that side of the family life. Fear is what one would call the light in the dark for that family, and judging by the trailer for the upcoming episodes, it most certainly seems as though Michael will take her in under his wing and look out for her. The big reveal at the end of the episode for Fear, though, was that she was pregnant with Adam's child and that she'd now given birth. So Michael is now a grandfather, something he's currently unaware of. This is something that I feel could give Michael a new lease of life and make him not want to give up like he was at the start of the episode. A part of his son Adam lives on, and I feel he will definitely want to be involved. In terms of the other main arc that was making up the other half of what we were watching unfold in this first episode, we saw that Eugene was on the run for being the person that killed Adam. Carlo knew that what happened was supposed to happen to him, and with Eugene's identity being found out, we saw Carlo going after him on his own with his mother alluding to the fact that he should. However, with Jimmy not being behind the act of revenge and stating how he'd rather play the long game, just as we saw Big Mo stating to Eugene, both youngsters didn't see it that way. They instead had a hot-headed, reactive nature when it came to seeking revenge, rather than using their head and thinking about consequences. Big Mo was prepared to give Eugene up to the authorities, as that was the only way that she felt she could keep the peace, but also not have Eugene killed. However, we saw that Little Mo had more of a sympathetic approach. It felt like he understood the pain and trauma that Eugene had been through in his short life so far, and instead he gave him a wad of cash with an address, as it now seemed as though Eugene's going off to start a new life. 
With Eugene making an appearance in the trailer for future episodes in the season, I feel his journey is far from over. With him failing to take out Carlo, I imagine revenge will still be embedded within him, and he may return in the future to make the family pay. Crime is something that's present within New Orleans in this episode, and with the polls not looking in Charlie's favor in terms of votes, the lack of Eugene being present meant that he couldn't be handed over to the police, which then ultimately meant that there was still a criminal out there and the public had fear within them too, which would then lead to a lack of confidence in Charlie. With the authorities marking an unaccounted body as the suspect being caught, we saw the corruption and lies that are present within the government and that Charlie will do what he can to be mayor. However, the confession from Michael feels like it's going to make an appearance later on down the line and have consequences. It seems like it's going to be an extremely eventful season of the show, with Michael looking like he's going to find hope within his life to be able to carry on due to his grandchild, and with the work that he'll be doing alongside Olivia, the original core values of the character that we saw at the start of the show, which was the law-abiding, fighting-for-justice, judge version of Michael, will potentially return, and he'll hopefully look to start taking down the Baxters of the area, and the knock-on effect will be a reduction in crime. I thought this first episode of the show was really good, it reminded us of the universe that was created in Season 1, the consequences that are apparent for many of the characters, and the troubled relationships that run throughout all of the characters too. Seeing Michael in the damaged mental state that he was in showed the skillful nature that Brian Cranston has when delivering a performance, and I bought into the character and the suffering completely. The scene where he was having the food in the form of a drink put in him was so uncomfortable to watch and the way that it was shot showed us just how uncomfortable it was for the character. As much as Carlo and the Baxters want to get revenge for the attempted taking out of him, I feel we could see Michael also want to seek revenge too, due to the fact that his son was killed. An all-out war looks like it could potentially be on the horizon, and I feel there'll definitely be one before the end of the season. I can't wait to see what's going to happen, who's going to survive, and if Michael will be able to find happiness in this newfound life that he's going to have to adopt. So, there you have it, your Honor Season 2 Episode 1 Ending Explained. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button, or alternatively you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What did you think of this first episode? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.